hearing an awful lot lately about the anti-malaria drug hydroxychloroquine. It's been a source of both hope and controversy in the treatment of COVID-19. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez sorts it all out for us. Because hydroxychloroquine is an FDA-approved drug, any doctor can legally prescribe it off-label for any condition or disease he or she thinks that it might help. In fact, many drugs are prescribed this way. The key questions are whether hydroxychloroquine are effective against this coronavirus and whether it is safe. Safety seems pretty good for short-term use, although it can cause cardiac arrhythmias, so the patient has to be carefully monitored. As for benefit, well, that's where it gets contentious. Anecdotal evidence in small studies out of France and China suggests that it might be beneficial against COVID-19. But other studies say just the opposite. The difference might be in when the drug is given. Because some studies have shown that hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, the antibiotic being used in conjunction with hydroxychloroquine, seem to have some antiviral effect. That's why doctors who've used it contend that it's helpful primarily, maybe only, when it's given right at the onset of symptoms. Current clinical trials and other studies have tried it when the patient is hospitalized, in the ICU, and on a ventilator when it may be ineffective. But now that hydroxychloroquine is being touted as a treatment for COVID-19, there is a risk of shortages for people who need it for pre-existing conditions, especially if uninfected people start to hoard the drug just in case they get sick, or if they take it prophylactically to keep from getting sick. There is no evidence that hydroxychloroquine works that way at all. That's led to severe restrictions in getting the drug. New York and New Jersey allow a hydroxychloroquine prescription only after a positive corona test, which can take days to come back, and in New York only if the patient is in a clinical trial. While there is increasing pressure to ease those restrictions, even though there is no definitive proof yet that hydroxychloroquine works against COVID-19, for now the availability of the drug remains severely limited. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.